Take five. Hi, my name is Lori. Today we're going to do a task dance. Let's start at a desk or table. And before we do the task dance, let's take three deep breaths together. Just bring your hands down onto your legs. Take a deep breath in. And out. Good, again, deep breath in. Let's take one more deep breath together. As big a breath as you can. And go. Breathe in. Excellent. All right, now that we're ready, a task is something that you do in your everyday life, like going to the grocery store, or reading a book, or eating a meal. I want you to pick a task that you can do seated and that you do mostly with your arms. So my task is going to be making a cup of hot tea, something that I'll do mostly with my hands. And once you have your task, let's do a little practice. So you're going to do the movements, but not use any of the objects that you would. It's a little bit like mime. For example, I'm gonna take the teacup, grab the tea bag, and make my cup of hot tea. Okay, let's practice that a few times. Good, and now keep going, but start to remember the movement that you're making. So you're gonna to put together a little piece of choreography that has maybe four or five movements to it. Excellent. Now that you have your choreography, let's have a little fun. We're going to make our movement this next time as fast as we can. Okay, ready, set, go. Great, did it change a little bit that time? Let's do it once more fast. Three, two, one, go. Nice job. All right, now we'll do the opposite. Take your movement, make it as slow as you can. So we're in sloth mode now. Ready, go. Nice job. We'll do slow motion one more time. Think through, was there anything you forgot? Anything you wanna do a little different this time? And let's do it one more time together. Ready, go. Great work. So which did you like better, the fast or the slow? Today, I liked the slow version a little bit better. I'm feeling nice and calm, so that slow motion felt good to me. When we take movement like this, making a task dance, it gives us a chance to use our creativity and our imagination, a chance to see how art exists everywhere in our lives. So you can pull movement from your everyday activities, you could pull sound from something in your house. Maybe you find a beautiful leaf or a rock outside and make a piece of art with it. So we use these tasks to remind us that there's art all around. We can tap into our creativity, into our imagination at any point to bring a little bit more joy and happiness into our lives. Thank you for doing the task dance with me today. 
Let's end with one more deep breath together. Let's make this the deepest breath that we've done all day long. Breathe in. Thanks for dancing with me today. I hope you have a beautiful day.